Well, it was a private club, uh, but there were only two members. It was myself and Jack Nicholson, because it was just a place to go when we were in town. And it was for basically a small circle of friends. You couldn't tell what was going to happen. It could be empty for three weeks, and all of a sudden it was full uh, to capacity and more so for another week. It sort of had a mind of its own. I spent a lot of time, I mean, I think we both spent a lot of time here. Some nights would be really packed up here, but other nights it would be me, um, there was this, the cook, and we'd be making gigantic hamburgers watching the fish tank. It's a magical world on this sort of square block for us, you know, growing up. I think we feel as comfortable on the Sunset Strip as we do on our block at home. When I became somewhat of age, uh, I started to DJ and do nights and started to kind of take it over. As we reach a certain age and a certain uh, level in our own lives and careers, I think we took it upon ourselves to be like, this needs to be what it was for him and his crew, for us and our crew. It's not based on how much money you have, that does not get you in the door. It's not based on who you know, unless it's one of the people up here. It's based on if you're, a, you know, if you fit our vibe. We want it to feel like a living room, but it can turn up to a nightclub really fast and turn back down if it needs to. You have to be a member of the family, and it's an extended family. We like to keep it close-knit, and we like to know everyone in here, and we like to make sure they respect the history.